any more of an alcoholic. Well, I'll give it a shot, but I'm not making any promises. Are you ready for your big speech tomorrow night? Oh, how exciting. Practice on us. So, Dad, He's how's your He's giving a speech game? on Reagan's neglect of the health crisis. You should be proud, Peter. Could we not make this dinner table conversation tonight? Where is Alan's father? Well, probably screwing some young tramp. I should have left him years ago, but he was just so good in bed. Some days I could barely move. No one here is interested in that. Lower your voice. We're not hard to hear. Well, you could at least take some interest in my son's well-being. I respect all of Alan's interests. I just don't like having them shoved down my throat. And that's the first time I've heard you complain about my son shoving anything down your throat. I'm not quite sure how to take that, mm, said the altar boy to the bishop. You are way out of line. First you come into my house. Your I'm house? Invited. Oh, I forgot. You live alone. Don't do this. Don't make the same mistakes I made with your father. I love you and I support you. But I can't sit here and watch you destroy your life. If you leave right now, you'll make it in time. In time for what? He's not going anywhere. This dinner is over. I want everyone out of here now. You don't have to shout. Let's go, George. Yeah. You don't have to shout. Take your cane. Did we say something wrong? You enjoyed embarrassing me. What are you doing? I'm leaving you. Is there some problem I'm not aware of? No, there's a problem you've been ignoring. We don't belong together, Peter. Let's discuss this tomorrow. Peter, I am leaving you, and I am not coming back. Where are you going to go? I'm going to see Tommy. Tommy who? Tommy Ballinger. What? You want to spend your life with him on, on picket lines, throwing condoms in churches and screaming about how dire everything is? Why do you think I saved you from that in the first place? How did you save me? If I hadn't pushed Larry to get your book published, that's the life you'd be living right now. You got that book published? Of course I did. You fucking asshole! You had the opportunity for success. And what did you do? You threw it all away. You wasted your life. That book destroyed my life! What turned you into this monster? I didn't change. You did. Now put the bags down and get back upstairs. What happened to my gate opener? I have it. Could you open it for me? Alan, it's cold out here. Now, will you come on? Then go somewhere warmer, like to hell. I have a plane to catch. Peter, damn it, for the last time, open the gates. Did the party move out here? Would you talk some sense into your son? Son, I'm supposed to talk some sense into you. Mom, I need to get out of here. Makes sense to me. Take care of yourself. Give my love to Tommy. What's all the ruckus out here? It's okay, Dad. Will you open those gates? You are not helping the situation. Where is he going? He's getting the hell out of here. What blue place is everyone yelling for? Will you open that gate? It's time for you to go home. Ow! What are you doing? Put him out! Give me that. Ow! Give me it's my grandmother's. Played it herself, I bet. Oh, oh, oh. Don't make me kick your ass. Oh, no, not that.
I was looking at all the life There were plants and birds and rocks and things There was sand and hills and rain The first thing I met was a fly with a buzz And the sky with no clouds The heat was hot and the ground was dry But the air was full of sound I've been through the desert on a horse with no name Your guide to the great state of Texas has arrived. I didn't think you'd make it. Figured I needed a tan, so why not? Is that our old car? Yeah. Does she still run? She sort of jogs, but she'll get you there. Well, we should, we should get going. this? That's the plant you gave me when we first met. You're kidding. It's gotten so big. <laughs> huh? Talk to it twice a day. I can't believe you kept it alive. So how have you been? Great. Things couldn't be better. I'm... Um, airline? Uh, Texas Premier Air, please. What were you going to say? Sports. We have tickets on the 1 p.m. flight to San Antonio. What's wrong with him? <laughs> Bad hair day. Thanks for your concern. It looks a little more serious than that. Okay. Bad lung day. We'd like our boarding passes, please. The names are Tommy Ballinger and Alan Oakley. I'm sorry, sir. I can board you, but not him. I'm not going to leave him behind. It's company policy. Your friend is obviously ill, and we can't risk him infecting our passengers. It's not safe. We're not planning to pilot the plane. We thought we'd just sit quietly and coach. Can you get me your supervisor, please? Or maybe a human being, if you've got one back there? My supervisor will tell you the same thing. Now I have other passengers. Next. Get me your supervisor. Now! Don't you talk to me that way. Step away from the counter before I have you removed. Next, please. Let's just go, all right? She has the upper hand. No, not as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Listen, you stupid air mattress. Get me your supervisor now, or you're going to be flying above 30,000 feet when I shove this up your ass. My, my, my. Aren't we the little potty mouth? My, my, my. Aren't we the little bitch? Soy Louise, Aquila Ticaria de Premier. Tango in Pasajero, muy agresivo. Y necesito ayuda rapido. Finally, we're making some progress. I don't think having security called on us is progress. What? You, you bitch! You Texas Premier shit bitch! You fuck what? Wait, let me get my plant. You fucking bitch. Little more eyeshadow next time, huh? Hook up!